Father, revive the wells of your Holy Spirit. Father, and release them into this nation. We love you and we bless you, Holy One of Israel. We regard you. You are the one and only, the King of Kings. And so we lift your name up high. Israel, be glad in his favor. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their King. Let them praise his name with dancing. Let them sing praises to him. Let him bring the loud. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. Hey, how are you? I'm Gilad Rossinger, founder and CEO of Radiant Israel Tours. We have a very special group with us that have come all the way from the United States uh, to bless, to serve, to volunteer here in the land of Israel. A Servant Hearts Tour was born at the March of the Nations on Israel's 70th anniversary when Ted Pierce and I talked about our heart and our vision uh, to really see the children of Israel, the lame of Israel, the disabled of Israel, the least fortunate of Israel blessed. Today we are at Nachalat Iran, which is a village uh, in the Negev region that was founded by General Doron al Mog, named after his son. We're in the middle of a, of a desert and this is a village that is truly being used to bless disabled children. Our whole heart is to bring believers from the nations to discover the land and the people of Israel and to do things more than just a regular tour, to serve, to volunteer, and to really connect with the land and the people of Israel. We're going to get to volunteer here over the next couple days um, to really watch prophecy come to pass. This is what the Lord says, in that day, declares the Lord, I will gather the lame, I will assemble the exiles, and those I have brought to grief. I will make the lame my remnant those driven away a strong nation. Adonai will rule over them in Mount Zion from that day and forever. As for you, watchtower of the flock, stronghold of daughter Zion, the former dominion will be restored to you. Kingship will come to daughter Jerusalem. Right here the Lord himself declares he cares about the lame. He cares about these beautiful children. Well, our call to you, everyone that watches this video, anybody who has a heart for Israel, for the land and the people of Israel, come to the land and participate in what Adonai is doing in this hour. Come with a servant's heart to volunteer, to connect, and to serve. And we hope that throughout this time, throughout this tour, you'll be able to see some of the incredible things that the Lord is doing in this hour. Very exciting to be a part of this and to see the amazing vision that General Doron al Mog brought to life in this very place. So this is the rehabilitation pool, it's the hydrotherapy pool where they treat the kids, they teach them how to use the function of their bodies again and it is so exciting to watch these guys in there, uh, they're gaining new life. They use a very special way to communicate. Each one of the kids has this system. It focuses their vision. Each computer has a camera, and the camera synchronized with the specific eye of the child. Their curriculum is inside the computer. They want to ask what they want to eat. They can say how do they feel, their emotions. It's still so exciting because before, when a specific child could not speak, they didn't know how many things are inside, how we feel to share the stories from his home like we do, like our children do. What I saw was a staff that really cared individually for each of the children. You know, they had all this technology that was especially for them. When they got it, it was like you can see their faces light up. It was just awesome to watch. So communication. So it teaches them communication yeah. and, and responsibility for, for animals. And our garden project. Making these beautiful pots here it's to beautify the gardens here. We love the land. It's prophetic <laughs> what we're doing. Enjoying a day of gardening to enhance the property of the village here to bless the people. 
That's why we're doing it. It's easy just to give and love, fall in love with Israel and Israeli people and all the people that are here. I just feel care, I feel love. Just the real peace before I've gone on tours. Come with a group that wants to serve the community and that's what I love so much about this one. It's a wonderful, it's a beautiful day and we're out planting flowers and um, really enjoy it. So you're probably thinking, why would you pay money to come all the way to Israel and do work? Well, the short answer is, it's not called a servant's heart tour for nothing. How many people do you think we invited on this tour? Oh gosh, I invited hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> hundreds of people. Yeah, I invited thousands of people. <laughs> I did. Well. And we had 12. We have a team of 12. Which seems kind of prophetic, one for every tribe. That's actually pretty cool. You know, I think Yeshua changed the world with uh, 12 with just people. just 12 people. Right? Yeah. Many are called, few are chosen. Many are called, few are chosen. Yeah. What an honor to be here. Amen. It's been and a I great... Believe, I believe we're gonna see thousands following, but somebody had to start it. Somebody had to go and, and sort of blaze the path. And thank you, Eli, for putting everything together <laughs> for us and working for us on this end. This is such a blessing. It's such a I'm blessing. I'm getting some good exercise in Israel, bro. Hey, hey who needs the weight room when we got a gardening <laughs> team, right? Uh, it's very hard to do. We have uh, 10 people, and now we 22, 23. It's amazing. Really hold that camera while you do some of this. <laughs> We're standing here in the Negev Desert, and I think desert is misidentified in this case. Uh, the difference is a desert is a desolate place with no potential for life. A wilderness has lots of potential for life, but lacking water. Ever since the Jewish people went into exile for 2,000 years, this land started to die. You see, God made a covenant with Abraham in Genesis 15. It's a people and a land covenant. The land reacts to the people, and there's many prophecies about when the people return to the land of Israel, the deserts will blossom once again. In Isaiah chapter 35, it says, the desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. You can see all around us here, standing in this wilderness, we have life coming back again. We introduce the water into the land. We introduce the people back into this land. And you can see what God is doing. He's fulfilling the prophecy He gave so many years ago. We have plants. We have vineyards. We have olives. Everything is coming back to the land of Israel. We're at Masada and we invite you to come here and visit this ancient fortress, a symbol in Jewish history, a symbol for the Israeli people where once our people fell, but the Israelis say never again. And so we invite you to come and check out and discover this place that is full of history. The world comes and joins us, stands hand in hand with us here at Masada saying, Jerusalem, Masada, Israel shall never fall again. We want to invite you, the nations, to come. Come to Israel, discover Masada, and of course this entire region is rich with ancient history. We look forward to seeing you soon. So right after the scene at Abraham's well, we continue into Genesis chapter 22 where Abraham begins a new journey. Up until this point, Abraham has already made this covenant with God and he's on a physical journey. But from this point, God is going to start off and call him once again. He's going to call him twice, Abraham, Abraham. And the response Abraham gives to God is, Hineni, here I am. 
Once he makes this declaration to God, he begins not just a physical journey, but also a spiritual journey. There's a path, a clear-cut path, that he's going to take from that point on, which will enter into the redemption of the world. This is what it means to say Hineni to God. This is what the spiritual aspect of it brings. You will never be the same. You will never go back to where you came from. You will continue on a new physical but also spiritual journey. That's the beauty of what a servant's heart tour can do for you. When you come here, you volunteer a few hours a day and you're saying Hineni to God. We will go on a spiritual trip as well as a physical journey. And when you leave this journey, you will never be the same. God will do something within you that you will carry that back to wherever you came from and your life will never be the same. And Abraham had to have you know, a servant's heart. He said, Hineni. He said, here I am. By uh, agreeing to give Isaac up, that was the test. And he took him all the way to the end, but once he saw his heart, then he was allowed to move into the next stage of the blessing of his life. And I'm just so blessed by Ted's heart and his vision to, to see this thing through. I give you water, water from the wells of life.